Sanford Hospice House in Fargo prides itself on providing comfort and calm to patients and families during a loved one's final days. But for military veterans, an extra special ceremony is offered. It's very near and dear to us because it's really a way for us to recognize the service that people have provided to our country at a time in their life where they're in their final journey. One recent veteran honored with a pinning ceremony was Jim Hockadall of Fargo. Jim served in the Navy, then joined the Navy Reserve, serving more than 20 years total. His family, including his wife Linda, joined Jim in his room along with some of his military friends during the ceremony. When he heard that they would like to do it, he was very humbly accepting of it. I didn't know at the time if he would appreciate everything that was going on, but he totally did. He was smiling the entire time he was talking, and he was so proud to share it with everyone. A national program called We Honor Veterans organizes the pinning ceremonies, but local nurses like Tammy Anderson add extra meaning to the event. I'm fortunate because I'm a veteran myself, so I'm able to salute the veteran. And I'll tell you, there's never a dry eye in the room when that happens because it's very um, emotional and very important and, you know, to us and to them, and it means a lot to the veteran. Jim Hockadall wasn't content just receiving his honor, though. He was a giver as well. One of Jim's passions is prayer crosses that fit right into your hand. And he had um, given those to people, probably 100 or 200. And it was very important to him. And he made sure that I asked one of the pastors to have plenty of crosses in his room. And at the end, he passed out crosses to everybody who was there. And it was, it was very touching. He gave all of our staff that was at the pinning one of these crosses. They also left several for us to give to our other patients, which to this day we continue to do. It meant the world to me because he was a very faithful man. And to see him be able to express that was it was uh, wonderful and also comforting to me. On March 6th, a few days after his pinning ceremony, Jim Hockadall died at the age of 71. He lived his life in service to others as a veteran, a Christian, and a volunteer. Sanford Hospice House and its staff were honored to care for him at the end of his life and to recognize his service as well. In Fargo, Jason Anschutz, Sanford Health News.